Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Good day, class. Today, we are going to have a quick road safety lesson. Step one, always stop when you get to the road. Step two, you have to make sure to look left, right and left again. And as soon as you don't hear or see any more cars, then you are free to cross the road. Remember everyone, look left, right and left again. Now everyone, I hope that you will continue to cross the road safely. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Good day, boys and girls. Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Artum. Now, our theme for this week is my community. And before we start with our lesson for today, we have to remember to sanitize. Remember people, make sure that you use a generous amount of sanitizer. And if you don't have sanitizer, you can always wash your hands with soap and water. Now let's see what you are going to learn about today. We are going to learn about transport and counting. For this part of our lesson, let's turn our booklets to page 29. Now on page 29, boys and girls, you will see some nice bright pictures. Now what are we supposed to do here? We have to connect each transport to where it is used. Now, let's look at the first part of the page. Let's look at each transport. What do we see there? First, we see a picture of a car. Then we see a picture of a boat. Then we have a picture of a train. And lastly, we have a picture of an aeroplane. Then, next to these pictures, you have more pictures. And these pictures shows us where these transport items are used. Now, let's look at these places. The first one is a picture of the ocean. The second picture what do you see in the second picture? It is a picture of a railway. The third picture is a picture of the clouds. And the last picture is a picture of the city and a road. 
Now, boys and girls, we have to take these transport items and we have to connect them with each place where it is used. Now you have to look very carefully to see where will you use a car, where will you use a boat, where will you use a train and where will you use an aeroplane. Now everyone, on the board I have two pictures. The first picture can you have a good look at the first picture and maybe tell me what you see in this picture? That's right boys and girls, this is a picture of a train. Now everyone, if you look carefully and you see what the train is riding on, you will see there at the bottom you have a railway. Now. I want us to quickly go back to page 29 in our booklets and have a look at our train. Can you find the train for me? If you see the train, then boys and girls, I want you to take your finger and point to the train. There we go. Now, Look at the places. Where do you think a train will be used? Will the train be on the ocean, on the railway, in the clouds or on the road? Now if you said a train is used on the railway, then you are correct everyone. Your train will be used on the railway because a train can only ride on the railway. Now let's find the next one. I want us to have a look at our second picture on the board. Now if you have a closer look to this picture over here, what do you see here? That's right everyone, this is a picture of the clouds. Now, I want to know, what transport item do you think will be used to travel in the clouds and through the clouds? That's right everyone, if you said an aeroplane, then you are absolutely correct. Now over here, I have a picture of an aeroplane. So we are going to paste it over there in the clouds. Wow! Now everyone, we can go back to the booklet and find the picture of your aeroplane. Can you find the picture of the aeroplane? Once you found the picture, you can take your finger and point to the aeroplane. Now remember everyone, we said that an aeroplane is used in the clouds. So if you fly in an aeroplane, you are going to fly through the clouds. Now you take your aeroplane and you connect it with the picture of the clouds. Wow! Can you imagine how much fun it will be to be flying through the clouds? Right everyone, now I want you to go back and have a look at the car and the boat and see where will they be used. As soon as you find the pictures that you can connect with your car and your boat, you can draw a line to connect your items. Now everyone, before you continue connecting your items, let's quickly turn our booklets to page 
30. On page 30, we have more pictures. And here, we are going to do some counting. That's right. Now here, we have to count the items in each block. And then next to the block, you will see you have a little line. Can you all see the little line? Next to each block, on the line, you have to write the number or the correct number of items that you have counted. Now, I want us to count a few blocks together. The first one that we are going to do together is the block with all the white cats. Can you find the block with all the white cats? Do you see all the little white kitties? That's right. Now let's quickly count together and see how many cats we have in that block. Now I want you to take your finger and count with me. Put your finger on the first one. There we go. Now let's count how many cats we have in that block. One, two, three, four, five. We counted five cats. Let's just quickly go back and count it together one more time. One, two, three, four, five cats. So now I want you to take your pencil and write the number five on the line. Right. Now I am quickly going to show you how to write the number five on the board. Remember, we counted five cats. Now, for you to write the number five, you start with a small little line. Then you go down. Let's go down quickly. And then you make a little circle like that. Okay, just half a circle. You don't go all the way and then you stop. So you make one little line, then you go down and then you make the little circle. Can you see that this looks like a little stomach going out? That's right. Now this is your number five. Now let's go back and count some more. Let's look at the next picture. Let's find the picture with our white dogs. Can you find a picture with white dogs? There we go. Now, let's count and see how many little white doggies we have. Put your finger on the first one and let's count. One, two, there you go. Let's count one more time. One, two. There we go. You have counted two white dogs. Now, on the line next to the block, you have to write the number two. And how do you write the number two? You put your pencil down and then you start with the little circle as well and then you come down, you stop and then you make another line. There we go, there we have the number two. Let's count one more block together. Can you find the block with brown cats? Can you find the block with brown cats? Now your brown cats will have little pink ears. 
Little pink ears, they are so cute, aren't they? Let's count. Put your finger on the first cat. Now let's count together. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. There we go. We have counted four cats. Now, remember, you have to write your number four on the line. Now, how do you write the number four? So, you start with your pencil. You make a little line, skew line down. And then you make a smaller line to the other side. And then you draw another short line through your bottom line. And this is what your number four looks like. Okay. Now, boys and girls, I want you to go ahead and count all the other animals in all the blocks. Remember, if you are not sure, you can count more. You can count twice or even three times over if you are not sure and when you are done counting remember to write your answer on the line on the other side now everyone i'm going to give you some time to finish connecting all the items and counting all the animals I hope you will have fun doing this activity. We will see you shortly after the ad break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We have come to the end of our lesson for today, boys and girls. Now, everyone, before we say goodbye, we have to remember to sanitize. Now, remember, people, sanitizing is very important because it keeps our hands clean and gets rid of all the nasty germs. Now, everyone, remember, you have to wait for your hands to dry before you touch anything. Now, before I go, boys and girls, Zoshi promised me that we can go to the park today. Now everyone, do you see Zoshi anywhere? There he is! Hello Zoshi! Now boys and girls, from Zoshi and I, we say goodbye till we see you again. Ta-ta! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Mirkat Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.